So I lost all of my money trading to make things worse. I got a call from my mom. She was crying. She needed to visit my grandparents because they were sick. And I was supposed to help pay for her plates, but guess what? I can't anymore. I'm not even sure if I can pay my rent. And she has no idea that I'm going through this. It's heartbreaking. This is a story that way too many unprepared crypto investors know all too well. I mean, what more is there to say? It's a rough story, but honestly, the biggest issue here is that a lot of people jumping into crypto don't know their limit. If you don't have a steady income, decent capital, or some backup cash, you shouldn't be diving into the crypto, period. We discussed so many of those stories in this channel. Again, this channel is all about the crypto and we talk about so many and we cover so many different aspects um, when it's come to investing in crypto and or all finance. Those kind of story exist, those kind of stuff happened. Um, and it's sadly, um, it happened to so many unprepared crypto investors. If you're putting your entire saving into crypto, that is not investment. That is crazy to me that it's, uh, you know, I don't even know the word what to say here. That is just reckless. If I have $1,000 in my bank account and I throw $900 into crypto, basically setting up myself to pay Crypto is wild and it's unpredictable. So when I hear a story like this, it just makes me think, don't put yourself in a vulnerable position. Crypto should be something that help you to build your financial freedom, not something that drag you down like an anchor. So please guys, be smart, be safe, and don't end up in situation like this. And it's crazy because those kind of story exist. Um, I, you know, get text messages, especially on the main channel. I get comments on the main channel, um, you know, and those kind of story happen. And again, um, one of the other story that I hear, and I'm going to make a video on that subject in a, in a separate, um, um, you know, video on that subject. Um, you know, also people get been scammed um, through the comments and, you know, Again, there's just so many scammer out there. They make fake account or they pretend that it's, you know, our account or they ask for money and, you know, they send fake stuff and all of that stuff. What really surprised me that people believe in those kind of crap and there's so many stuff happen. But again, this is a different story and I hope um, this never happened to anyone. Um, but again, this is something that when you aren't prepared and when you do investment without thinking, without having a proper plan, then the, this is what happened. Especially when it's come to trading. Trading, it's I don't do trading. Again, we talk about that in this channel. Um, and again, trading, you need when you when you talk about trading, it just there's just so much involved. There's just so much work involved. In order to be good in trading, you have to go through a proper uh, process and that isn't easy. That's just a whole new uh, level of uh, preparation, uh, understanding and all sort of stuff. So be safe, guys. Never do mistake like this. Um, and again, um, this is video with just more to kind of, you know, share the awareness. If you guys like what I do, please do consider um, liking this video. Thanks for watching. And again, not to forget to mention, um, this video is not a financial advice. Of course, this is just my opinion. When it's come to investing, of course, you have to do your own due diligence and invest wherever you want to invest your hard earning money. Thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.